Hey guys, Mike here. Uh, in the shadow of Bigger, I, I want to first apologize that I haven't been putting out a lot of videos. Uh, I've been super busy with uh, the show. Uh, we're going to Kentucky next week, and um, that's been a lot. It's been a logistical plan, but um, also working on a couple different kinds of videos for you guys coming out, uh, hopefully soon. So I wanted to take this opportunity that I have to give you guys a tour of the brand new Bigfoot Mobile Command Center or the BMCC-1. Starting on the outside, <clears throat> all of uh, these lights, the marker lights, tail lights, corner lights, uh, turn signals are all uh, upgraded to LEDs. We have reflective graphics. Uh, all the font is reflective. The text and the uh, other stuff is not, um, which is pretty cool at night. Our radio call sign is the BMCC-1. You can find us on Instagram, hashtag that. We have 360 degree warning. Uh, we have the um, driver's side scene lights. And as we come around to the front here, you'll see our 360 degree spotlight, which is controlled by this guy. So we have 360 degree nighttime viewing no matter where we are, which is awesome. Great for driving and therming. Also then our front floods we have as well. <clears throat> and in the rear, we have a little business card holder on that guy. Our amber warning lights in case we're on the road or come across an incident. Um, on the roof rack, we got the tire, uh, spare tire, some bungee cords, and our uh, antenna here. Uh, we have all search and rescue channels on uh, our radio, which um, we are kind of like a mobile search and rescue team. So if we're on an expedition and a call comes out, someone in the area is lost or needs assistance, um, we're gonna be able to respond to that and help those people if they need our assistance as well. So um, first and foremost, we gotta look out for one another. Let me take you inside here. <clears throat> oh, also, uh, under the hood, we have a smart battery charger, which I'll show you what it does in a minute. Inside our driver's side door here, we have uh, red and white striping for safety, in case we're you know, near the roadway. Here we got uh, some hand sanitizer, uh, water, mask, cologne, in case I meet any Attractive female squat jets. Phone holder with a charger. It's hard route wired in there, so I always have it. Um, we got our, uh, this in here. It's our iPod music, kind of miscellaneous things, cards. <clears throat> and then we got, uh, here's our switch box, which controls all of the lights on the outside. I don't know why that's, there you go. So. We can turn them all off. And then here we got uh, some supplies, whatever we need, business cards. The other side, uh, dual phone holders, just in case uh, you know our passenger needs one. A phone charger down there for them. Up here uh, is all red lighting. Um, that is for night vision, so when we're reading maps at night or whatnot, um, we can uh, we can see without disturbing our night vision. Here is some driftwood from Lake Michigan that I got on an expedition. <clears throat> this guy is from a deer on our property, and then obviously Grandma gave me that, so that's something I got to keep in here. Let me show you the back. And the driver's side rear door is a cool area too. This is kind of our um, important. Uh, filming area and power area so we have um, on the outside of the storage box here just in case I get chilly we have a sweatshirt uh, we also have bungee cords uh, carabiners uh, this is a memory card holder on the other side we have our digital voice recorders this is a infrared light this is a red light um, interview microphones fire extinguisher our top compartment here is where all of our cameras are stored. We have, um, here's the battery, second battery, which uh, supports 
uh, charging everything in the vehicle. We couldn't do this without it, it'd be very difficult. But here's all of our cameras and whatnot, all of our charging areas, multiple types of chargers for every possible occasion we may have. Down below that compartment is, uh, this is where our spotlight goes, right in here. Oops, excuse me. Here we have our 1,100 watt inverter. We got some batteries back here, bags. This is kind of miscellaneous storage. Here's some tape and stuff. Uh, back here we have all the hydrocal we can need. Extra toilet paper, paper towels. There's uh, some water back there, some tools. Down here we have, uh, below the seat, we have our battery charger just in case we need it. Uh, we have our chair, uh, sleeping pad, and this is some of our clothes, which we'll show you on the other side. And then below the flap here is our day pack. And we got some lighter fluid. It's general, general stuff. In the back here, we got our business card holder. Oh, I got my baseball stuff in there. Well, take that out. So here's the rear of the BMCC1. Take on a quick tour on this side. We have our cooking equipment. Here's um, uh, Lucy lights, which are um, lights that you blow up and you can uh, hang them. They're solar charged, so they get charged through the thing, uh, through the window. Umbrella for a stage kit, some garbage bags, camp shoes, water shoes. And here in the top of this compartment is uh, kind of our general whatever we need stuff. Um, toothpaste, bug spray, anything you could possibly imagine. Yes, that is mine. Um, then we got in here a little sweeper, some magic biscuits, fire starters, uh, and then we have our little coffee cup and washcloth, we got an extra bag in there. Below that, in the same compartment that the inverter's in, we have uh, a bunch of stuff. Water, we have tons of water. I ran out of water one time and I swore never again. So we have six gallons back there, um, somehow. Uh, we have permethrin, here's our business cards, some fuel, uh, there's our um, tool kit back there, also our casting material uh, kit. We have that, here's our little cook camp stove, and There we go. Oh, we got lights in all the cabinets too, which is cool. So, they're automatic on, they should be. So we can just uh, turn them on when the, when the cabinet's open. This is my sleeping area. Uh, on the side here, for breeze, we got fishing pole holders, or fishing, uh, fishing reels. Below here is really cool, it's full storage. We have garbage bags. There's a deer collar, some lights. This goes all the way to the front, so not only do we have our um, cornhole kit, just in case we get bored at camp, we have tarps. There's a machete back there. Um, I mean, anything you could really think of, we pretty much have. There's the, our cooking grate is back there some SOS pads for cleaning and then right down over here we have our hiking poles two fishing rods uh, this one is my portable fishing rod my backpacking one um, sorry and uh, it's kind of cool it fits right there I made this little um, foam thing because it uh, I didn't want it to um, the loops to get uh, eyes to get um, bent on our back here, we also have a uh, custom installed light. Uh, we have red for night vision, and that shines directly down onto the ground uh, in the back of the car. And we can also turn this switch here and have it be white. Again, that's for uh, just nighttime operations. <clears throat> Here's a little cool area back here. This is the other side of our sleeping compartment in the passenger side rear door. I'll show you below first. We got our sleeping bag, tent, clothes, 
There's the other end of the chair, the pads back there as well. Fishing equipment. Up here is our little nightstand we always have. So this is, um, we can charge our phone at night, no problem. This is our, um, how our battery's doing. Can hang the keys up there. We got a little whiteboard to remind us of stuff. Uh, Uncomfortable pro Podcast is awesome. We got some other stuff, cool stuff hanging. There's a uh, curtain, which will go completely over to here, which will block out. Nobody can see in from the back. All the windows are tinted to 5% too, so um, nobody can see in. Here in our cabinet up here, we have um, kind of the other side here. There's our cosmetic stuff. Here's our food, a lot of mountain houses, uh, utensils. This um, I'm gonna try in Michigan, or in uh, Kentucky. Hopefully it'll work, some bait. Uh, back here we got uh, two days worth of clothes. And then we have some reading material, magazine stuff. There's the other side of our battery. Hand wipes, bug spray, all the good stuff. Everything that you can need at night is fully accessible with the car completely closed. So you can get changed in here. Uh, you have an extra set of clothes in here. Uh, you could eat in here all without um, having to open the door, which is cool. So, and then up here we have uh, just a little pouch you can put stuff in and obviously that that is the BM CC1 